future RNs. Today we're going to be going over how to withdraw medication from a vial, okay? So this is a skill that you're going to be performing pretty often, um, but unfortunately you're not always exposed to this in the clinical area, and so when you come into the lab, you often forget. All right, so first remember that when I receive a physician's order, I'm always going to look at the order and see um, that it was profiled in my medication administration record, and if I don't know this medication, I need to go ahead, and excuse me while I get my little drug book, I need to go ahead and look it up in a drug book. Um, there's every facility that I have ever worked with always has a drug book at the nurse's station. However, because your meds are now in a computer, it's so easy in your MAR. You just click on the drug and you're going to receive all the most important information that you need to know. Well, what do you need to know? Well, I need to know the classification of the drug, the indication, why is it that I'm administering this? I don't just give anything to my patient because it was ordered. I need to understand why they need this. What are the side effects and adverse effects? And what is the appropriate way to deliver this medication? And so every time you administer medicine to your patient, remember that you're an educator. So you need to know this information and you need to come and be able to relay that to your patient. So it takes a minute or two to just look up the medication. And also you want to think about any nursing considerations. So for example, if I was going to administer low pressure, five milligrams, IV push, okay, because my patient was, let's say, tachycardic or, and they can't tolerate PO, they're on an IV push, what would I want to do? Well, my low pressure I know decreases my heart rate and my blood pressure. So before I administer this medicine, I'm going to want to go and check those vitals. I want to check the blood pressure and the heart rate and make sure to see, first of all, obviously you want a baseline, right, to compare. However, more importantly, if my heart rate is below 60 or if my systolic blood pressure is below 90, depending on your doctor's provider's um parameters, you might be holding that medication and notifying your physician. So remember, your nursing considerations are all the things that you might want to think about before, during, or after you administer this medication. And so the first thing I want to do is go ahead and grab all my supplies. So what am I going to need? Well, I'm going to need my actual medication and I want to check it against my medication administration record and make sure it's correct. And I'm going to need my syringe and my needle. And here I grabbed a 19 um, gauge needle and I'll show you that as I open it. I'm gonna need some alcohol and some gloves and some hand sanitizer. All right, so I perform my hand sanitizer, excuse me, my hand hygiene. Put some gloves on, that alcohol is so strong. Right, so I put some gloves on. And so I'm looking at the medication, not only am I making sure I have the appropriate drug and that it's going to have the uh, right amount, but remember that if it's a vial and my provider ordered 20 milligrams, I need to know the concentration. So here it says 10 milligrams per 1 ml. So if I want 20 milligrams, I'm going to withdraw 2 mls from here. So I want to make sure I have the right syringe, okay? So there's a cap. So I'm going to go ahead and pop this cap open. You can do it this way or, you know, some of them you just flip it open. And so now I have this little port here. And that middle circle is where I'm going to want to put that needle. Okay. Now, some people argue that you don't need to clean it. I've gotten in the habit. I always clean it. Um, you know, so I'm always, I clean my little area in a circular motion. Just cleaned it. And while it's air drying, I'm going to prepare my syringe and my needle. So here is how you're, you're going to open it, right here. Okay, so you just pull it apart. Okay, and I withdraw my syringe, and this is a 5 milliliter syringe. And you see it, it's lure lock. This is the part that I'm going to connect to the needle. Now here's my 19 um, gauge needle. It's about one and a half inch length. And so I don't need to expose the whole thing. You see this area right there? That's where I'm gonna to wanna to connect. And so here, just so you could see, I'm gonna connect it. All you do is connect these two pieces. Okay, and now I already cleaned my site. 
I checked my medication. I made sure that it wasn't expired. And so now I can take it on. You see, that's a big, a nice big needle. All right, now I just told you I want to withdraw two milliliters from here. So what I want to do is withdraw, um, excuse me, um, pull the plunger. This is your plunger. I want to pull it back to two mLs. Now you see the lines there? Let me see if you can see it. Okay. And I want the plunger to end at the two. So that top line of the plunger is going to be at the two. Push it down. Okay, I'm in the center. And now I'm going to push the air down. And now while I'm holding the plunger, I'm always in control. Okay. So while I'm holding the plunger, I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to want, you see how my label ends right here and I actually can see the medication. I'm going to want to be able to see that because you see where my bevel is. I'm going to want to make sure the bevel is the little hole where the fluid is going to come in through. I'm going to want to make sure that it's below the fluid. I don't want it above the fluid, specifically with certain medications like heparin. They only give you a certain amount, so you're kind of bringing down the needle as you go. So here, I'm going to bring it down below. And I already injected the air, and now I can start releasing the plunger. And look, even if I just let it go, it's going to do it on its own, okay? And I'm always looking to see. So I'm looking to see. And you can take out a little bit more than two. And so I just took out a little bit more um, than two and I'm going to go ahead, if there's any air, air bubbles, I can go ahead and tap that and expel it out. And if you look, it's two milliliters. So this is your furosemide, 20 milligrams, two milliliters. Oh, and this is going to stay like this because if I take this off and throw this away too soon, now this whole area is exposed. So I'm going to want to keep this closed. And I would grab my alcohol and my flush and go over with my medication administration record and administer the meds. Pretty much it. That's how you withdraw medication from the vial. And so next time I see you, I hope that um, you do it correctly. Bye.